Hey, this is Dan Nickerson, and before I jump into this Socrates Toolkit plugin demo, I have to warn you that I am dealing with landscapers with leaf blowers, line workers working on lines, and trains going by, as well as tractor trailer trucks, and it's the noisiest my office has been in years, but I need to get this video done. So I'm not going to edit out any train whistles or truck sounds that you may hear in this video, and I'll end up reshooting this before long, but I want to get this done today, and I've got to do it now. So. Anyhow, the Socrates Toolkit plugin is a plugin that I'm bundling with the Socrates theme. So what I've done in version 5.0 of Socrates is I removed a lot of the bloat and extra code that used to slow down the website and most people didn't use. So I'd rather create a separate plugin for those features uh, since not every Socrates user uses them uh, that can add more functionality without the bloat, if that makes sense. So what the Socrates Toolkit plugin, plugin does is it adds short codes, add inserts, custom CSS, uh, header and footer codes, and even more functionality to Socrates theme. So let me just show you how it installs. So first off, you would download it from the Socrates members area. There's no extra charge for it. Um, and let me just go into plugins, add new, upload, choose file. And there's the plugin that I downloaded, install it. So it installs just like a regular plugin. I didn't auto install it with the theme as well. I figured I'd just keep it simple. So click on Socrates Toolkit and you'll see multiple tabs and I'll be expanding this plugin so there'll be automatic updates on it with some more features and functionality. But if you're a longtime Socrates user, you're familiar with the monetization tab. This lets you put an in post ad in the, in the top section with a right float or a left float. It also lets you put an ad at the bottom of the content where you can float that as well. So if I wanted to add in some code, for example, I could just add a 250 by 250 banner here, and here's like a 460 by 60, uh, 468 by 60 banner. You can add in opt-in forms, you can add in AdSense code, you can add in whatever you want to the, into this monetization tab. If you're a Socrates user, user, you might also might remember that we used to have an affiliate link here. So that used to be just a ClickBank ID uh, that you could put in or a URL you could put in, but we've moved that to the customizer in the theme. So if you're using Socrates, Appearance, Customize, Copyright, and Affiliate Link, you can add your affiliate link there. So I'm going to click on Save, and then I'm going to go back to a demo page here. And so this is the home page of a demo uh, install. If I click on this multiple paragraph post, you're going to see that the ad is now installed here. So this is floated to the right and then there's the ad at the bottom and if I went back here and wanted to change this to the left for example I would click on that save go back and reload and now the banners on the left hand side so that's how the Socrates ad post in in post ad units have always worked and now some other features here we have CSS and hooks so if you want to insert custom CSS you can do that here you can also do it inside the theme as well and appearance customizes a CSS box but this is just an extra place if you want to keep this custom CSS separate from the theme, you can do it here. You can also add custom header code, for example, your analytics code for Google. You can add custom footer code, like Facebook pixels and those kind of things, right in the custom footer box. And then we have a resources tab. I'll be adding more functionality here, maybe links to tutorials or recommended plugins and so forth. And then I'm going to go and show you the next thing, which is new, which is the short codes. So if you go into a demo post right here, you'll see the little Socrates Omega icon, and this is our short codes. So you can now add buttons. So you see like a black button, a blue button, a ghost button, which is a white uh, white background with black text. Green, navy, orange, red. So there's four different sizes that you can have. You can also center these buttons to the left or right. So if I just want to go in here, for example, and add a, a call to action button, I can go add a blue button, large, and I'm going to center it. So I'm just going to change this from left to center. I'll probably add in the centering functionality into the uh, plugin thing before too long. Click on update and then open a new window and of course there's, there's an ad float there. Maybe I should have done this on a uh, actual page instead. But you can see the button is centered on the text here. So that's how that works. And let's go back to edit post. Other functionality that we have is uh, big panels, dividers, columns. So you can do two column, three column, four column, five column. We also have font awesome icon, so if you want to add a font awesome icon, you can do that. So here's a glass icon. And I've also added a little simple uh, example uh, sizing icon. So click on size examples. And if you look at this, you'll see different sizes that you can do. So if you wanted to change this icon, for example, to a large icon, you could just take the FA5X 
and throw it in here like so and then I'm gonna click on update and I'm gonna go like this and you'll see a small one and a big one and so that's how that kind of works and so then other other short codes that we have are um, protection short code so I this is a cool little very simple to do but let's just say that you wanted to show this button only to uh, visitors right so you can go in here and do protection is visitor I'm just gonna take this little short code here and go like that and then I'm gonna go like this now since I'm logged in that button shouldn't appear so I'm gonna open a new window again see the button's gone now if I change that to member for example sock member because I'm logged in it actually is logged in that button should appear and there's the button again so really simple and easy to use short code that you can show different content to visitors uh, or to registered registered members and then finally I like to do a lot of uh, placeholder content so I just added this for myself it's <laughs> a lorem uh, ipsum inserter so if you're working on a, a, a site for a customer and you want some sample content you can just throw that in there so those are the basic short codes lots you can do with them I'll be adding more functionality as well but uh, just play around with it and you get an idea for all the functionality analogy so the last thing I'm going to show you that's built into the uh, the theme the uh, plugin is widget visibility so widget visibility is a simple little uh, plugin extension this is actually forked from uh, jetpack so it works just like the jetpack version and so here you can control where your sidebar or top banner widgets or all that stuff is displayed so you just click on show so if I only want to show this right post sidebar on uh, users who are logged out then I can do that and save like this if I only want to show this this widget to uh, on pages that are post pages I can do that as well if I want to hide this from different pages I can do that as well so if I want to hide it from post pages if I want to hide it on categories I can hide it on all the categories in the demo category so this is a like I said this is jetpack functionality that's forked over into the Socrates toolkit plugin that just makes it easy for you to control your widgets works especially well on the top banner and bottom banner widgets of the Socrates theme which enable you to put calls to action on any page post category tag that kind of stuff so that's an overview of the Socrates toolkit plugin once again more features will be coming soon but you can just download it right from the Socrates, Socrates members area and install it along with Socrates 5.0 Thanks for your time.